Hi everyone, this is Dr. Perman. By now you should know what gaze stabilization is and how to exercise your gaze stability with yes yes and no no exercises. But what is really going on in your brain when you stare at something and move your head around? Let's break it down. Did you ever notice that when you're looking in the mirror your eyes stay locked on yourself no matter how you move? This is gaze stability at work. What you're primarily exercising when you practice gaze stability are neurological processes called the vestibulo-ocular and cervico-ocular reflexes. Yeah, reflexes. That means you don't even have to think about it. Your brain is just supposed to do it for you. The vestibulo-ocular reflex, or VOR, tells your brain exactly where your head is as you move it using sensors in your ears called the vestibular system. The cervico-ocular reflex, or COR, tells your brain exactly where your neck is as you move it using sensors in your muscles, joints, and skin called proprioceptors. This input allows your brain to automatically move your eyes in an equal and opposite direction to keep your eyes completely still on your target. That's because your brain depends on your eyes being completely still at all times so that it can create a crystal clear picture of your surroundings. If you didn't have a built-in system to hold your eyes on something, any time you moved at all, everything would always look really blurry. And that would be quite a challenge if you were trying to, say, drive a car or play a sport or, you know, just watch this video. Well, unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there experiencing this exact thing. When you sustain a head injury, or are suffering through a migraine, or live with some other neurological issue, it can affect the ability of the VOR and COR to coordinate your eye movements. This is extremely taxing on your brain and can make you feel terrible. This is why gaze stability exercises are so important for our patients and why really everyone should be exercising their gaze stability. So to recap. When I've said in previous videos that the purpose of gaze stability exercises are to retrain the way your eyes, head, and neck all move together so that your brain can better understand where your body is in space, what I'm really saying is that gaze stability exercises train your VOR and COR so that your brain can better control your eye muscles which allows your eyes to send a clearer picture to your brain. In reality, it's a bit more complex than this, but this is the overall basis of gaze stability and how our brain creates general body awareness. The eyes utilize muscles to move around, and these muscles should be exercised just like all your other muscles. That's why we believe that absolutely everyone should make gaze stability exercises a part of their regular exercise routine. Strengthening your eye movements is a fantastic way to strengthen your brain. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Dr. Perman, and we'll see you next time.